kids welcome to maths class today the topic of our learning is geometry and the objective of our today's learning is to know what is point and ray let us start with point now the question is what is point children you can see the figure it just looked like a dot so a dot is called a point my next question is does a point have any length breadth or thickness children look at the figure do you think it has no a point does not have any length breadth and thickness now we will learn where is a point used children a point is always denoted by a dot and can be used to mark a place to denote corners of a shape etc it can be used for many other things now what are the examples of a point children point is just like a dot so tip of pen tip of pencil bindi tip of needle etc are few examples of point how is point represented children a point is represented by capital letter like you can see in figure dot a dot b now let us see the copy approach okay children now let us do the copy approach first of all draw margins write down date for example date is july 1 you will write 1 dot 7 dot 2020 that is 2020 on right hand side write down homework leave one line in first line you will write geometry g e o m e T R Y geometry. Now leave one line. Put exercise one before the margin. Write down. Draw and define. D E F I N E. Draw and define. Point. colon now leave one line and now we will draw the point you can highlight the square and in that square you can draw the point now again leave one line put number 1 now first of all as we have learned a dot a dot b o t dot is call a point a dot is called a point full stop now leave one line put number 2 now first of all we will see its length breadth it has it has no length l e n g t h it has no length comma no breadth b r e a d t h and no thickness T H I C K N E W S no thickness full stop now again leave one line put number three it is denoted
by a dot. It is denoted by a dot. D O T dot. Leave one line. Put number four. It is represented R E P R E S C N T E D. Represented by capital letter C A P I T A L capital letter L E double T E R like dot A dot X full stop. Leave one line. Put number five. For example, for example, tip of pen, comma, bindi, comma. tip of pencil etc so children this was the copy approach of point now it's time to learn what is ray a set of points joined together on a plane surface is called ray children it is denoted by a dot on one side and arrow on other side you can see that in the figure given now how is ray represented children ray is represented just as the figures given in your slide what are the examples of ray now children you can easily learn the examples of ray ray of sun why because it has a starting point but no ending point its starting point is itself sun second is ray of torch again its starting point is torch itself and it has no ending point many other examples can be there now let us see the copy approach of ray okay children now we are going to start with Ray. First of all, take a new page on your maths copy. Draw margins. Write down date. Suppose date is second July. You will write two dot seven dot two zero two zero. And on right hand side, write down homework. Leave a line. Put number one. Exercise one. And you will write draw. and define ray colon now first of all children we have to draw the ray leave two lines and then draw like this on ray we know that on one side we have point that is dot and on other side we have arrow now leave one line put number 1 a set of points p o i n t s a set of points joined J O I N E D joined together T O G E T H E R a set of point joined together on a plane surface P L A N E plane surface S U R F A C E full stop leave one line put number 
now we know that it has starting point but no ending point so we will write it has starting point s t a r t start i n g starting it has starting point but no ending point full stop lever 9 foot number 3 it has no fixed length it has no fixed length l e n g t h full stop lever 9 foot number 4 it is denoted by d e n o t e d denoted denoted by a dot on one side and arrow a double r o w arrow on other side s i d e full stop lever 9 foot number 5 it is represented r e p r e s c n t e d represented as now first of all children you have to draw the ray a small ray like this you can draw two arrow put dot arrow dot arrow and it is represented as a b and one more example is x y full stop lever 9 foot number 6 for example f o r for example ray of sun comma ray of moon etc Okay children this was the copy approach of ray I hope you are clear with the topic now keep practicing the sums given in your snap homework thank you class stay safe stay happy